Hello and welcome to this video on how to export a route to a Garmin uh, Zumo 396. Um, first, let's open a route. Um, I'm gonna open a test route. I'm gonna open the test route Garmin. Obviously, I made it in the here map since that's the Garmin map. Um, and before you want to press export right there, you have to make sure um, that your Garmin is connected to your computer via a USB cable um, and that you have uh, uh, installed the transfer mode. Okay, then if you make sure you can press the button and this will appear. We'll tell you more about our uh, connector. If you have installed it, you're fine. If you haven't installed it yet, you should install it. Uh, I have installed it, so I'm gonna press open route. And then this screen will pop up. It will uh, ask you to select your device. Of course, there are several devices uh, we support. So we have TomTom, Garmin, Garmin Alt New, Interphone, BMW. Um, since the Garmin Zumo 396 is one of the newest Garmin models, I'm gonna select Garmin New, and I'm gonna press export to device. We have to wait a little while and then it will tell us it is transferred. And now our route is exported to our device. Let's go to our device. Once you've disconnected the Garmin and turned it on again, um, this screen will pop up. Um, of course, you're gonna accept all, otherwise it won't be usable, agree. And there you'll see that a new route has been found. And of course we want to import this, uh, this trip. So we're gonna press yes. Ah, there we're gonna select it and we're gonna press import. Okay, great. Then you would want to go to apps and go to tracks. There you'll see our test route, test route Garmin. Okay. Let's take a look. Okay, now you have to select this icon and there you'll see show on map. You have to select that and then you have to go down and then convert to trip. Okay, start from uh, start to finish, I'm sorry, start to finish. Here you can rename the route if you want. Um, I'm not gonna do that for now. Um, so I'm gonna press done. Done. Okay, our route has been saved to the trip planner. So we're gonna press okay. And we're gonna go back to the menu. Um, one other a very important thing to mention is uh, that you have to put off recalculation. You can do this at navigation and then um, off-road re recalculation has to be turned off otherwise you might get straight lines so we're gonna save that um, okay let's go back um, one other relevant thing to mention is that when you um, want to for example go to sightseeing it is very important uh, that you uh, create several different routes since you can't incorporate um, sites inside your route. Um, so if you want to do that, you have to create several different routes and, um, and, and, and export them all to your Garmin device. Okay, for now, we're gonna um, drive our route. So we're gonna go to apps, and now we're not going to go to tracks, we're gonna go to trip planner. There you go. There you'll see safe trips. Okay, there you'll see the track and the route. For now, we're gonna use the track since it is more accurate. So I'm gonna select it. And there you'll see our route. Okay, let's go. Um, we're gonna start at the beginning, of course. So I'm gonna press okay, and it's gonna calculate. Here you'll see the route. Um, it's, it has been calculated. Um, and as you can see, there are no straight lines. So we're gonna press start, and then the route will start. Turn left oh, onto of course. Walter, then make a U -turn. 
I do not have a GPS um, reception since I'm in a, an office building. Um, so therefore it's going to simulate. But if you are outside and you have a GPS reception, of course, um, the route will start. So I'm going to press here, yes here. And there you'll see that the route has been started. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy using my route app.